What did both of you think when the central paw of individuals were released from prison? Well, let me, um, you know, these individuals all made confessions. Mm -hmm. and, uh, my personal theory, on the way, is that uh, they had beaten up a homeless man and he was left unconscious in the world around to the that he'd been killed. And I, I think they thought they were pleading to something less serious. I mean, they, they you know, I only held her arms, I held her legs, I did this. Um, but they were getting away from the murder rap. I think that's what led them to do it. But um, 10 or 12 years later, um, this prison inmate up in Danamora on the Canadian border. And I was one of the few prosecutors that visited that prison, uh, the maximum security prison, uh, oldest prison in the state. And this man, Martin Reyes, who we had previously convicted of, of uh, murder, and he had confessed to some other rapes, uh, told him prison, Gone said he did it and he did it alone. Um, and he wrote the Innocence Project and uh, they ignored him. And then he called and he got the Barry Sheck on the phone, told him, and he ignored us. Um, but then the word, and the reason I, I know this is that whenever an inmate writes a letter or makes a phone call, it's monitored. So it was about not gossip. Um, when I heard that he, through the Inspector General of the Correction Department, that uh, he was confessing, and I said, I don't believe this guy for a minute. Uh, I think he wants a free trip to New York, but I don't blame him for that. If I were up there in Danamore, I'd say anything to try to get <laughs> brought down to New York. But I said, let's give him a DNA and see, you know, once and for all of it. And the DNA came back a 100% match. Mm 